Hello and welcome to Daytime Today. We are back. I am Black and we're here to talk about daytime television. First taste a cup of coffee in the morning. I love it. Uh, we've been on hiatus. We're back. We talk about the lot of stuff going on in, in daytime. And uh, and so we're going to have a couple episodes coming out right away. You'll see some stuff coming up in your, your queue, your notifications. So um, if you're an audio subscriber, get ready. If you're YouTube, GLJ Media, we are everywhere you want to be. Our pages are on Facebook, Instagram, and the X. And they're daytime today. Um, so we're gonna break down some of the latest things that are going on in this episode because I waited. I and, and one of the things I want to I need to point out because people are asking me when I choose to do episodes of this show, uh, a lot of times it's on a topic that people are talking about. I think big is happening in the news. Um, I usually wait for, I usually wait for things to be um, verified, solidified before I report on them. It's, a, it's something that I've been doing since after Buzz TV days. I don't just report on rumors and gossip all the time. I know other folks do that. They probably get more views than I do. They do all that stuff. I just don't because I don't want to say something. It's not true. And it comes back to bite me later. And I'm, I'm not doing all that. So I just rather wait and hear. Everybody else can report on it and have it, get the clicks and hits. And I'll just wait until something. And when I say, okay, this is the truth. This is what's going on. Then I usually will talk about it. So just so you guys know, that's kind of my mo of how I do this. Um, one, of the, and I say that because one of the major, major things I didn't see coming, of course, and not even coming, is the departure of Ron Calaparty. I love Ron. Ron's great. Uh, he's out of days, um, but because they film about six months in advance, and people were asking, people were asking me this because I know you guys already know the story already, probably, but people were asking me, "How does this work?" I mean, I got to ask questions so many times. So days, all the shows. As you, if you know this or don't know this, film in advance, obviously, so they can always be on top of the shows. Plus, budgetary reasons, they go dark several times a year. And they film up to some, some of them up to seven or eight episodes a week at the same time. Um, just filming, 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 and they have stuff so it continues to air. So I went during the pandemic, there were some shows that went on for like a month or so, and then they ran out. We had nothing else new. Um, and then, uh, but like Days Are Lives, they had six months in advance. They can they rode the wave with new episodes. They were doing so they did that. Um, and so that's kind of how that worked. But most of them are five, five and a half weeks ahead of time. So there's always something ahead. Um, so you just kind of that's how that works. So Ron stuff, that's why in GH we're still seeing Patrick McKay and those recording stuff. It's like they're still they're ahead. So we're still gonna see their stuff. Until then, you, we don't. And so they're saying they're saying April twenty twenty five is when we'll start start seeing the new folks. Which I, I'm sorry, what's your name, girl? Paula Kawicki, quickly, and Jean Marie Ford. Uh, both been associated with Days before. Jean's been on the, on the staff, writing staff for a long time. Paula was at Young and Restless, was at Days, other places. And so I've always said, I've always said this. I'll say it again. It would be nice to have the soaps either produced by, executive produced by, or ri had written by women. I'd be very curious to see what the women have to say today because we've had a lot of men running all these soaps and writing them. Not saying men can't do it. Ron did a great job. And what he does is, what Ron does is he comes on shows and he takes the history, he takes, he, he really gets into the vines and the Bibles of these shows, and he gives you a good story, born out of that. Of characters and situations. He brings back fa fan favorites. I mean, he does all kinds of stuff. So I've always, he did it on Wipe to Live, did it on General Hospital, um, I mean, on days. I just love when he does that. There are main things he corrected and did beyond Salem was, was under his watch. And the Christmas special was under his watch. Beyond Salem, about Salem, two the Christmas, they were all under his watch. Um, He created some really interesting stuff. Uh, while on the show. So, I mean, he really he came in and did you know, So, men can do it, too. But I was thinking these days has been where we need more women at the top. Because I'm curious what they're thinking in 2024. Soaps were created by women for women. Um, I'm curious what they have to say now. And in an ever-changing <laughs> times we we'll see in America. So, I, I I celebrate this. Just by sense that I I want the show to continue. They are They are headed towards their 60th anniversary. 
And on a very exciting side note, my chocolate twin, Tony Moore, who's the leader of Dish and Days, their podcast over on YouTube, Dish and Days, um, for the third, I think third year in a row, will be hosting Day of Days in November. Uh, it's an event. Look it up. Go to Days or Go to Days Peacock, where we look it up. They do it every year around the anniversary of the show. And this anniversary is the 60th. So it should be, I'm very proud of him. Very excited. Go Tony Moore. Check him out. Also at Lounging with Tony. Uh, also, a returning. So while Ron is out, Rick Hurst is in. I had never thought I'd see this in a long time. I mean, Rick Hurst, who is, a to me, a soap treasure. And looks really good, that white hair. Yeah, I saw his video the other day. It's coming back as Rick Lansing. So he's Sonny's half brother. So this should be. I, I feel like this they're gearing up for something for Sonny. Uh, so I'm very glad to bring him back. I don't know how long. He didn't say. Um, it sounded to me when he said the video that he caught himself. He said a word. They kind of. I feel like did he already do it? And now we're just announcing because people you don't a lot of times because again they're in advance. Um, that a lot of times they'll they'll announce people coming back when they're appropriate, when their stuff's about to start, start airing or it's appropriate to do so. We call them embargoes. Uh, they'll, they'll do a press embargo. Don't say anything until, you know, so I don't know. But I'm like, I'm very excited. I, 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 he can be dropped anywhere. There's so much, there's so much to mine from his character. That's what's great about these soap operas we've been on for a long time. You just, you just, you never know. Uh, so welcome back, Rick Hurst. I can't wait you get on the show. And who will you be seeing and talking to? It'll be very interesting. Also, Guy Pierce is off the show of Neighbors. You know, I've been doing the Neighbors after show. So if you're not watching my after show, I want to thank everybody who is and who are starting or just starting to listen to it. But most of you guys are watching it. And I'm so happy. I'm having so much fun. I want to give a shout out to Matthew Becker, Becker, who I heard from. I played Logan, who I heard from. You watched my episode with him and commented on Twitter. And I was like, and we conversed on Twitter. I'm so. Matthew, I want you on my show. I just asked my show. I, I, I want you on my show. Come on, my show. Talk to me. Um, but that made my day. That made my day. And I've been having so much fun getting to know neighbors. And so most of my episodes on neighbors come out on Mondays and Fridays, a lot of times. And I'm just I'm I'm figuring out, I'm figuring out the show. And I'm really enjoying it. So but Guy Pierce is out, longtime character. His character broke up with the love of his life and over the phone, it was a whole thing. So if, if you're not watching Neighbors, Neighbors is on Amazon Freebie. It's a 22 minute show, it's like a half hour show. Um, to me, it's like it's not landing in the outback. Is is that that's how that's how I call it? But it's more than that also. And their portrayals of different races and sexual orientations is amazing. I'm I'm impressed by it every day. So there's a lot of meaty, juicy characters on there. So and some funny ones, and you know, everything. It's a little bit of everybody. So check out it was Amazon Freebie. Check that out. My girl Michelle Valjean has put out some uh, news that the Gates is moving right along. And she, her, she's I guess she's assembling her team. They're looking for some ad space and all kind of all kind of stuff. So it's everything's close to the vest. People keep asking me, do I know anything? I don't. I know nothing about nothing. I mean, I really don't. Uh, I'm I'm finding out as you guys find out. I'm finding out also. I'm so excited for the show. As many of you are, just please, folks, don't don't shit on it when it first comes out because it's not everything you want it to be. Please be nice to it. Please, let's give it a chance to come out and do its thing. I'm giving it at least six months before I fully be like, okay, this is not working or not, or, or working or not. I want to give it six months. I think we need some time to lip, learn the character, like I'm doing with and neighbors, learn the characters. I I believe in Michelle a thousand, hundred million, thousand percent percent. I'm sure it's gonna be great, um, and I, I'm, I'm just excited. I still want the fans to ruin it. Please don't, please don't. You can't nothing nice. It was something nice to be good. Sean Kanan, my buddy, is on is in the first installment of Cobra Kai season six. He is on there. Mike Barnes is back. Everybody's talking about it, and I'll be talking to him live. Yes, kids, you know how we do. I feel like my lighting is just so. Ooh, I'm like blown out. What's going on there? I mean, the moon's right here or something. Oh, that's, see, that's better. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. I gotta, I'll talk like this. Hi. No, I'll, I'll change for the, for the next show. But so forgive that. Um, But he and I will be talking live 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern, Tuesday, July. Oh my God. All these, this, the, the world's all the way. July 30th. 
here on GLJ Media Live. So you can ask questions and stuff while we get time. We'll also, of course, mention Boulder Beautiful and Studio City. Uh, and a possible spinoff for Mike Barnes. Hmm. Well, we talked about all that. He was on TMZ recently. So check all of that out. Uh, Sean's my buddy. I just love him so much. And I'm very proud of him. And he is booked and busy. Booked and busy. Doing that. Um, this Sunday, of course, our soap block will be back. Uh, me, Tammy Dockove, uh, Amanda Russ, and Frank Moran. Uh, Wide our bowl starting at 10 a.m. So we stay on time live. You guys are just... I just, I almost want to cry how, how loyal you guys are to us. Um, and then also, I, I, our guest stars continue on GH. We have David from Take Two Radio. who will be joining us. He's been wanting to come on the show. We've finally worked it out. He'll be joining me and Frank and Frank's emails uh, this Sunday at 1 p.m. So I'm about to your hospital. So we'll see what he has to say. So I'm very excited about that. So we'll be back. And I just want to give you a little shout out. There will be some choppy programming in the next couple of months because I'm doing some actually work travel. And there will be some Sundays I can't do it. But we're, we're on about half the time. So this is the time where I'm on. Like We're on the next two weeks, but then I'm off a week. Then we're on a week, then I'm off two weeks. And I'm on a week. Like, it's kind of like that. But we are we will be here. And daytime today, we'll be back to talk about kind of stuff, too. So uh, I'll make sure I'll tell you that. Um, Esta Terblanche, who I actually interviewed earlier this year, uh, on my all my children after show passed away. Um, and I want to dedicate the show to her. I, I want to tell you when I met her, we had an amazing talk before and after the show, uh, which is one of my favorite things too. Because some people are like, talk to you later, bye. We actually made a connection. And I'll tell you something, she was light and love and everything lovely, um, full of life, very interesting story. She really loved acting. That's what I got from her. And she loved life. And so I am very sad to hear that she passed. But I'm very glad I got a chance to sit with her and talk to her. You can check that out on All My Children, All My Children After Show. And same, I, since I've been on last, Pat Colbert. I'm sad I heard her last name was Colbert, not Colbert. Um, thank you, everybody, who's going to my Dallas After Show and was watching my tribute video to her um, a while back. Um, I mean, I want to give a shout out to her niece and her family who contacted me. I couldn't go to the funeral. I'm saying in public. I had I was in the, I was out of town. I couldn't go. I thought I'd be back in time, and I wasn't. Uh, but I did pass along a message, a little tribute to her. Um, I'm she played Dorme on Dallas, uh, and I I wanted her on my show. We never made it happen. Uh, it was, it's too late. But I'm so glad that my video res. It, it went up like 600, 700 views in like two days. I'm so glad people are finding it. It's just she shall not be forgotten. Important member of the of the black acting community, coming of the just soap community. Period. Uh, Dora May was class, and so was Pat. So I want to shout to her family for including me and let me know what's going on. And um, and she's up there in heaven. Maybe take maybe talking to uh, Larry Hagman. Who knows? Shout out to her. I think that's everything um, that I need to talk about. We have a new. Oh, also we have a presidential nominee situation happening. <laughs> that's going on too uh, so we'll see how that goes also I'm James Lodge daytime today is back bitches we'll be back and like I said new episodes coming out another one I think is coming out tomorrow so uh, just stay tuned for that and I will talk to you next time